just good old fun music we can all groove and chill to. Stay tuned right here on the Iconic Playlist. This is the Iconic Playlist. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would go over my top 10 most listened to albums. And these are generally my go-to albums. Starting with Michael Jackson's Bad, this is the 25th anniversary. I don't really care as much about the uh, disc 2 stuff, but disc 1, the standard album, is what I've listened to most. And it's by far my favorite Michael Jackson album. I just love this. And the production of this one is amazing. I guess it now would be like the 35th anniversary. <laughs> but this 25th anniversary edition is just awesome. Obviously, it has like some of the big songs like Bad, Speed Demon. Then there's other songs like Just Good Friends, Another Part of Me, Man in the Mirror is one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs. Just Can't Stop Loving You, Dirty Diana, which in my opinion, Dirty Diana is the best vocals Michael Jackson has ever done on a studio recording. I just think the performance and everything about that song, it just it makes Michael Jackson sound the best he's ever sounded. And a smooth criminal, leave me alone. And then, like I said, there's the uh, second disc, but I'm mainly just listening to the first disc overall. Then we have the Beatles' Let It Be. This is the 2021 edition that has, again, a second disc kind of booklet, but I'm just talking about the same general album. So this was slightly remastered and stuff, obviously. And this is also one of my favorite Beatles albums. I got an actual ranking on my top Beatle albums video <laughs> so you can go check that out but two of us is a great song dig a pony i like across the universe i mean mine dig it is kind of just there throw away i don't really care about dig it <laughs> let it be is awesome maggie may i got a feeling is amazing one after 909 sounds like a classic old school Beatles song the long and winding road for your blue and then obviously get back i love this album ever since i first heard it but then after the documentary series, the three-part series, came out, which I also have physically, once that came out, it made me love the album even more, and I just started listening to it more and more. And now it's my official go-to Beatles album, honestly. It already was my top three favorites, and then after that, it just made me love it even more. Just to clarify something, these are in no particular order. I kind of just grabbed them and put them in the pile, so they're not like from favorite to least favorite or anything like that. But next up we have Bon Jovi, Keep to Faith. Again, my favorite Bon Jovi album. I, I love this album. I've listened to this album so many times. It's just so good. There's not a single track on here that I don't enjoy. All of them are 10 out of 10s to me. This is just one of my favorite albums of all time. I know this is not supposed to be my favorite albums list, but this is legitimately one of my favorite albums. I just, I love this Bon Jovi album, honestly. And then there are some modern music on this list. We have Adele 21. This was also the first Adele album I ever bought. I ended up getting all of her albums since then. Um, Adele 19 and Adele 30 are my two least favorite ones, but Adele 21 and Adele 25 are both phenomenal albums. I just generally go to this one more because there's a few other songs on here that I just like more than Adele 25. Like Rolling in the Deep, Rumor Has It, Turning Tables is great. Don't You Remember is pretty good. Set Fire to the Rain is great. He Won't Go is just kind of mediocre. Take It All, I'll Be Waiting, One and Only, Love Song, and then obviously Someone Like You, which is one of the best songs on this album. Next we have Taylor Swift, Speak It Now, which I do have the new version, obviously. But I do prefer the original version. I think overall it just sounds better. And I don't like the lyric change. I mentioned that in my CD haul when I picked up the album. But again, this is... This is tied between this and 1989 for my favorite Taylor Swift albums. But again, from Mine, Sparks Fly, Back to December is a great song. Speak Now I like, Dear John, Mean. Mean has one of the best choruses in Taylor Swift's discography, in my opinion. I just think it's some of her best production overall. But I said this whole album is, is really good. Then we have a, actually a very new album. This only came out in like 2022, yeah. But since I bought this album, I just listened to it nonstop, and it's definitely going to stay as one of those albums I always just go back to. Miranda Lambert is somebody I've always really enjoyed, Miranda Lambert. And I first heard the song, I Want to Be a Cowboy, or If I Was a Cowboy, was it If I Was a Cowboy? <laughs> and I listened to that song on repeat on Spotify over and over. I just, I really loved the song, and I listened to it. As soon as it came out, I listened to it probably... Probably my most listened to song of the first two months that it came out. And then I finally picked up the album 
And once I heard the album, I just, I loved the album so much. This is probably my favorite album of 2022 for sure. I think it's just phenomenal. Starting with Actin' Up is great. Forest. Wandering Spirit is like a throwback uh, 60s rock song. This is awesome. I'll Be Loving You, obviously, If I Was a Cowboy. Pursuit of Happiness. This is a great album overall. Then we have a debut album, which is actually a couple of debut albums in here. This is a Libby Rodrigo's Sour. I know they're one of the newer artists I think are legitimately interesting compared to a lot of newer artists that are generally boring. But Olivia Rodrigo is one of the exceptions. Like Brutal is great, Traitor, Driver's License, the hit song, is very well done. One Step Forward, Three Steps Back, Deja Vu, Good For You, Enough For You, <laughs> Happier, Jealousy, Jealousy. That's probably my favorite song on here. It has such a good starting bass line too. Favorite Crime. I mean, the whole album is great. This is one of the best debut albums I've heard. Um, I think it's right up there with like Boston's debut album, in my opinion. It's just, it's awesome. And then we have Hello, My Name is Bridget Midler. I believe this is also a debut album as well. It's not as good as the Le Rodrigo's album, but again, this is just like kind of one of those enjoyable albums. And I didn't even realize that she really made albums to this point. I just seen it one time on Amazon and I decided I'll try it. Because I didn't really think of Bridget Midler as a singer, just an actress. But then I started looking at reviews and I seen reviews from people who were like teenagers, early 20s, 30s, and even going up to like 60 and 70 year olds on the Amazon review who all loved this album. So I was like, you know, I have to pick it up, I have to try it. And this is phenomenally done. This was released in 2012. It has some modern elements to it. but the songs are just awesome, like the quality, the the music elements, their voice itself, like everything about it is just a 10 out of 10 album. It is just phenomenal. This is another one of the albums that would be in my top 10 albums of all time. It just, I listen to it so much too because of it. <laughs> then we have Elvis's His Hand in Mine. Now this is from the Elvis collection, so that's why it's a, in this digipack, but... Uh, this is definitely my longest long listen to Elvis album overall. Elvis and Johnny Cash, I have all of them digitalized, and I kind of just let it go on repeat, or and randomized because there's 60 albums for both. So it's like the likelihood of me picking out individual albums, trying to listen to them, is not as much compared to when I'm just trying to go on random, and I'll listen to way more because of that. But I have picked out this album many times. I really do enjoy it. I like the classic uh, rock um, sound to it, and the songs are great. And then finally, we have another debut album, actually, funny enough. Sabrina Carpenter's debut album, Eyes Wide Open. So again, this is just an awesome album. It kind of gives off a chill vibe, kind of like a ho almost a desert island, Hawaiian, yet pop vacation-y vibe to it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Sabrina Carpenter, after this, completely changed what her style was like, and none of her music since then have sounded like this. She's really gone into more of the modern sound, kind of lifeless overall. I mean, she still has a couple of songs that are all right, but generally speaking, she's really gone downhill. But this album, it's a so unique sounding for the time it released. It's just so good. Like Eyes Wide Open, Can't Frame a Girl for Trying, The Middle of Starting Over is awesome. Will Be the Stars, Your Love's Like, Too Young, Seamless, Right Now, Darling I'm a Mess, and then the best thing I got to end it all off. I mean, just phenomenal. So that is my top 10 most listened to albums in my collection. I'll probably end up doing these maybe once every year or so because I got a feeling this list is going to change, obviously. I've been collecting music since basically the beginning of 2020, late 2019, early 2020. And that is when I started collecting. And since then, my music taste has been changing all the time, obviously go through moments of liking one genre and another and then in between and you know it's always changing so these are going to change when i change what i'm listening to at the time obviously you can see from my early early collection from 2022 how different my collection is now so i mean you can see the difference and you'll see the difference in these in the future as well but i do recommend all of these albums they're just phenomenal like i said it's not a top 10 greatest albums although some of them i might end up putting them in a top 10 because they are just that good. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.